It has come to a point where each automaker has to come up with something unique so they can stand out among their competitors. This means that even as they upgrade their cars, they have to consider doing something unique that you'll not find on other cars in a certain class. Volkswagen has done something about this, coming out with the Tavender. This is not your average SUV, and it's definitely going to stand out. However, it's only been made for the Chinese market, but all in all, let's find out what the 2023 Volkswagen Tavendor offers, shall we? Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we will look at the 2023 Volkswagen Tavender to find out what it has to offer. Before we continue, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on your favorite cars. And with that, let's find out what the Tavender has to offer. Volkswagen is making big steps, and most recently, it has unveiled a brand new model in China. This has served as a great way to expand the company's wide range of SUVs in the region. The Volkswagen Tavender, which will be locally produced by the FAW VW joint venture, is a medium to large SUV that will be offered based on the MQB Evo architecture. However, this is not an SUV like the others. It has some of the most modern styling and plenty of tech inside the cabin. This is a car with the latest version of everything. This new model was leaked a few months ago, and from what we can already see, it has combined the design cues from VW's ice-powered and electric SUVs. Right from the front to the side and onto the back, this car has a very modern design. When you look at the front, it's characterized by the horizontal body-colored stripes on the grille. This looks similar to the LED element that is just above the main headlights, which serves as an extension towards the profile. This then spreads through the Piaggio 2008-inspired bonnet shut line. The profile of this car has an immaculate design with a window line similar to that of the Audi Q6. The rear end is reminiscent of the ID range of models, but Volkswagen has done its best to make it as unique as possible. To achieve this, they've added LED graphics on the full-width taillights, which are unique to the Tavender alone. They are of two trims, of which the R-Line trim is the one that leaked. The R-Line trim features a sportier design for the bumpers and large diameter alloy wheels. Volkswagen has done its best to make it stand out from its competition, and so far we can tell that they are already ahead of other cars. The Volkswagen Tavender is based on a stretched version of the tried and tested MQB Evo architecture. Because of this, the FAW VW Tavender measures 4,936 millimeters, 194.3 inches in length, 2,015 millimeters, 79.3 inches in width, and 1,756 millimeters, 62 inches in height. In addition, it comes with a wheelbase of 2,980 millimeters, 117.3 inches. As predicted before, the wheelbase of the Tavender is identical to that of the mechanically related but slightly longer Terramont sometimes referred to as the Atlas and the Talagon flagship. However, the Volkswagen Tavender is about 58 millimeters or 2.3 inches longer than the more premium MLB Evo-based VW Touareg. The outside is already awesome looking, which leaves us to guess what the interior of this massive SUV looks like. And since Volkswagen does not disappoint, they outdid themselves with the interior. The dashboard has a familiar look with VW signature digital cockpit that houses a 10.2 inch instrument cluster. Alongside this is a 12 inch infotainment touchscreen still on the same panel. The dashboard's minimalist design is combined with a high mounted center tunnel. This features an open storage compartment where you can hide some of your essentials. The panoramic sunroof and the light colored fabric upholstery both work together to add charisma. There are a lot of VW models in China, and just like most of them, the Volkswagen Tavender will be fitted with the non-electrified turbocharged 2.0 liter TSI four-cylinder engine. This will be available at two different power levels. There is the base level, which will produce about 183 horsepower, and then there's the more powerful variant, which will produce about 217 horsepower. No matter which engine you decide to go with, it'll be exclusively paired with the 7-speed DSG automatic transmission, which will then work together with the engine to send power to either the front wheels or all four wheels for motion. There are a lot of things that we'll see on the Tavender that you've probably never seen on any other car. But before we find out what that is, it's important to note that the FAW Volkswagen unveiled this new 5C SUV named the Tavender, or Lan Zun in China, on August 29th. 
According to the automaker, they are hopeful that the car will be launched by the end of 2022, which is not far off from now. The automaker said that Volkswagen's new SUV would come in two appearance styles. There will be the regular version and the R-Line kit version. Now, the Tavender is said to be the very first Volkswagen model to feature full-body exterior ambient lighting. Volkswagen's signature VW logo is now conspicuous on the front and rear of the vehicle, and it will be supported at the rear by the Flame X through type taillights. The SUV will adopt a new lighting style to reflect the fire design theme. The luminous logo, fender light strips, luggage rack lamps, and door handle lamps all help to reinforce this new design. In addition to all that, there are floor lamps and front-facing through-type lamps. The Tavender has a through-type air intake grille that blends into the headlight groups on both sides. In addition, the SUV has two through-type ventilation openings and LED daytime running lights on both sides. In addition to the lighting, the SUV will also have a staunch stance. All this is thanks to the short front and rear overhangs. The Tavender also adopts an all-black suspended roof that matches the black pillars. There was once a time, around the 2010s, when Volkswagen needed more SUVs in China. One can even say that they had a shortage of SUVs back then. However, over the years, they've been working to add to the list of SUVs that they have to offer. Now, there are 18 SUVs offered by the Germans, and this is excluding the all-new Tavender. Something else that Volkswagen has also worked on over the years is the design. There was a time when their designs were a little bit boring, but it was really boring. I mean, even if you saw one of the cars from back then, you wouldn't want to have one. However, this is another area they've also worked on, and they're getting there. The Tavender has a very different but impressive look, and this is mostly so at the front. We've already seen how the front looks, and we can agree that it has an angry, racy look. It has a high and wide bonnet, which is surrounded by a black grille and darkened lights. Even though the side looks a bit more basic, there are some nice details as well. One such detail is the chrome strip that runs from the headlight over the fender to the door. As for the rear, we've already seen that the lights are beautifully designed, and the chrome strip extending to each side from the VW logo is classy. However, somewhere, they lost some points when it comes to design in the fake exhaust pipe tips. Volkswagen had decided to add another SUV to their collection, and they seem to be getting better at it. Even though most of them are Chinese-based, they're still making a lot of progress in terms of everything. We can only hope that the Tavender is as reliable as the other SUVs. Given that the car has yet to be launched, the price tag is not yet known. It's said to be announced closer to the model's market launch in China, which is expected to be sometime in the fourth quarter of the year. However, according to Car News China, we can expect the new SUV to have a starting price of about $42,000. One thing we can tell is that it will definitely be a game changer. What do you think of the all-new 2023 Volkswagen Tavender? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. Also, before you go, smash that like button as hard as possible and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on your favorite cars. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.